Good evening from Volo. Got a quick update. Wanted to get out to you, let you know where things are standing. Here you can see the engine assembly process. We've got the hot uh, engine cylinder and the coal engine cylinder put together first. <clears throat> you can see the, uh, the support skirt and also the support uh, rod in the front there. Next, we throw on the kinematic assembly onto the back of the coal cylinder and bolt that on. You can see we've uh, oriented in the um, vertical position for this, but I will be running first in the horizontal position. So we flip it back. There you can see those three components of the assembly. Um, and it's starting to take shape. <clears throat> Next, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the piston. We've got the connecting rods attached to the piston. You can see the backside of the piston as it's prepared to be put into the um, cylinder, into the engine from the back. And then next is this is the displacer. And the displacer here is actually in three parts and there's a Delrin spacer in between to separate the hot from the cold. Those will both go into the uh, engine. The connecting rods you see are sticking out the end and that is uh, the two for the piston and the one for the displacer down the front. In addition, I wanted to just give you a quick overview of the firebox that we've created to date. This is the quickest, cheapest firebox that we could come up with. It's a 55 gallon drum sliced down the middle with either a cutoff saw or a plasma torch. And we retrofitted it just with a simple propane grill attachment. It could be wood, but we wanted to just use propane for the testing and whatnot, so we had a steady heat source. And you can see here uh, the controls and also a little fire burning inside. Uh, had no problem getting up to, uh, I think it was 400 degrees or something like that with the uh, hole open. And uh, things are coming along nicely. What's still left to do is we want to just get all the uh, kinematics hooked up and check the linkages. Keep the comments and questions coming and keep looking at our blog site. Uh, that's where we'll post the most recent updates. And thanks for all the support, and we will have more uh, shortly. Keep your eyes out, and we will keep working.